You all have been asking me for an updated tutorial on how I set my computer up to automatically print my sublimation prints mirrored in always high quality, vibrant color prints. Let's do it. Right here at the bottom, you're gonna either search your start bar or right here where it says type to search, and you're gonna type in printers. The first thing that should come up, your best match, should be printers and scanners. Let's select that. First thing we're gonna do is grab the printer that we want to make edits to. So right now I have my Epson 2720 EcoTank here. We're going to select it and then we're going to press manage. Okay, so here we are. The first thing we're going to do is go to printer properties so that it's easy for me to recognize which printer I'm using because I have two Epson EcoTanks. This is optional, but for me, this works best. I'm going to go ahead and change the name to sublimation. I'm going to press OK and then I'm going to back out. Again, that step is optional. So now you see on my list of printers, I have one that says sublimation. We're gonna select sublimation, manage, and then we're gonna to go to printing preferences. Now what this will do, every time you print, these settings will remain the way we set them here. So instead of every time you print, you go in and you make these adjustments to change this, it'll automatically have it set. You won't have to waste your time doing it. First thing we're gonna do is change from plain paper to premium presentation paper matte. Next, we're going to change the quality from standard to high. And then now we're going to go into more options. Okay, here we're going to change the color correction to custom. And then we're going to go to advanced. We're going to change whatever it's set to, to color controls. I usually leave it at Epson Vivid, but I come down here. I change the brightness up. I usually go to about four. I go to about four on the contrast. I turn my saturation up to about four as well. And the density to about three. Then I press OK. Next, I'm going to turn off high speed. Also, this is optional. Make sure you play with this. If sometimes your blacks seem to bleed over to your other colors, turn high speed back on because that means it's just putting out too much black ink and it's starting to bleed. But you can always do that every time you print or you can just leave it on in these settings. Next, you'll select mirror your image. Of course, you want that every time you print a sublimation print so that when you press it, it's pressed on the correct way. Now we'll press OK and everything is done. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what happens when I press print. Okay, so I've pulled up my website because this was the fastest thing I can get to and I'm gonna press print. All right, so I press print. I'm going to select my sublimation printer and I'm gonna show you the preferences. As you can see here, it's already at premium, premium presentation paper matte, high quality, my options, high speed off, and mirror image is on. And I don't have to make those changes every time I print with my sublimation printer. It automatically has those settings set. So I hope this helps you all. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. You know I'm happy to help.